I have two huge reasons why you should get involved in project management, especially in IT. Here they are. Number one, you'll make a ton of money. I'm not kidding. The average salary for an IT project manager, according to glassdoor.com, is $97,000 a year. Number two, there's high demand. It is a highly sought after skill. And in this video, I interviewed Jeremy Char to talk about who should consider going down the project management path and how do you even get started? Is it a degree? Do you get certifications? We cover all of that. So anyways, enough of me talking. Let's get to it. Oh, and by the way, if you're already an IT project manager or thinking about becoming one, I list some tools below that will help you do your job better. I list the web help desk from SolarWinds, which also helps you manage your help desk tickets and IT infrastructure, as well as some others. So check out the links below. Anyways, let's get to it. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. I've got the one and only Jeremy Chara here. Now, I brought him on because first of all, he's awesome. Second, um, he's doing something you would not expect Jeremy Chara to do. Mm. It's a training that is kind of outside your, your wheelhouse, mm. uh, but it's the PMP, the project management stuff, yeah. which I can't wrap my head around, but you're doing it, you're apparently liking it, so I'm like, I'm going to stop talking. Tell yeah. me about it. Yeah. 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 So, so let me, let me tell you where this came from and then you'll understand why I'm, I'm liking it so much. So, so, um, uh, so uh, we just talked about in previous interviews, someone asked, you know, on the it expertise videos and I shared how I, in, uh, you know, about nine years ago started a company that does what I teach and, and really kind of got owned for the first year or so as I was trying to figure that out because I found a massive gap between the, the technical knowledge and, and knowing how to do something and then actually doing it in the real world. And it, what the, the funny thing was is through all that pain and it was, um, pain, lots of it. Um, <laughs> the, one of the things that he's awesome. You should come. <laughs> yeah. Come join. <laughs> um, but, uh, but, but through all that pain, the thought that kept me going through a lot of it. And when I say pain, I'm like sleepless night after night. Uh, you know, it, it's just where I think anyway, uh, stories I could tell. I kept thinking this will make a great story someday. This will make a great training series someday. And after nine years later, a lot of counseling therapy, um, I'm here to tell you it's happening. So, so that's, that's where a lot of the it expertise series originally came from. But one of the things I found that was so, essential that nobody told me is project management skills, soft skills, social skills, you know, all of the, how do you do that kind of stuff? And that's where it's just the, 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 the brain just started going of all these ideas. Like, you know, man, we could do a, a series on, you know, uh, soft skills for it people. Like it, there's no such thing that exists or as we got into project management and now I'm, I'm landing on the PMP, mm -hmm. I started uh, as I was struggling and drowning through this ocean of knowledge, you know, what did I do? Well, I went out to see what else, you know, how do I learn project management? And I started taking PMP courses from others and wow, <laughs> they were fantastic. You should go, uh, what a, right now, what a, what a gap between what's being taught in, in PMP certification and nothing against the certification. I get it. I get what the certification is there for and what is, is needed and real for it people, for, for people that are into technology. And by the way, that's where a lot of project management is needed. I don't know if you know this, the number one place project management is being used today, technology. That's, that's it. Because Nobody can roll these things out successfully. And so that's where I was like, oh, oh, as CBT Nuggets started saying, well, we might want to add a PMP to the, to the catalog. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but Jeremy asked me to recommend this video he's been working on. Uh, it's a Wireshark video saying how he uses Wireshark. It's super helpful, super entertaining. So do me a favor, go check it out and go subscribe to him on YouTube. Anyways, enough of me talking. Back to the interview. That's me. I, I want that. See, that, that would not have been me. I've been like, uh, no. Yeah, I know. I know. Uh, so unlikely. Yeah. And, and I think all the other trainers were kind of like, as, as I'm standing there, like thinking I had to raise my hand fast and then going, no. <laughs> oh, you know, like, you're, you're, you're like that kid in class who's like, oh, because, <laughs> because I think everybody was like, why would you want to do that? And, yeah. and yeah. it's because 
I now see such a need, not only in the life of the IT professional, and, and this goes for everybody, not just somebody who's a network guy, who's the people that I usually talk to, people that are in, in system admin, people that are, I mean, there, there's all kinds of, of different fields that could use this knowledge because I'm spinning a PMP certification. Not only is it is it training that, that, um, that is real, and it, I, the, the, my pause right there was, one of the, the uh, training series that I took when I first got into it online, you know, video one, I'm watching it and the guy goes, all right, we all know you just want to pass the exam and I'm going to tell you how to do it. And I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> like, like, and so, so it's just, uh, you know, video, I memorize this. You need to read this. Make sure you really know that. I'm like, this is so lame. And there's so much of that out there. So, so, so it's not only how to do PMP for the technologists. It, it'll help you in a major way. But it's, it's PMP certification that's real. I wanted to make something that, yeah, of course, you're going to pass the exam, but it's just going to be like, a, oh, it's an afterthought. Like, because I already know this. I already do it, and I'm just going to add the accreditation to my name. So I wanted to make something that was so real for people that, that as they go through it, they can, they can be like, that's, that's, a, that's, that's a real story. I could see myself in that kind of thing. I could see myself trying to plan a meeting. How do I, how do I communicate a network outage the right way to where I'm telling them enough, but you know, how do I, how do I say enough of this to where they get that? I'm not just making something up, but <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, you know, bamboozling them with all the technology. So in it, there's, Oh, I could, I'm, he's, I, I, he's getting excited. Like, obviously so it's a cool thing about. now. So what's interesting about PMP is, um, well, first of all, in the past, when I've looked at like the top certifications, hmm. PMP is always up there, and the salary for that is always crazy. It's high. It's super high. Yeah. So it's one of those skills that if you get it and you actually enjoy that, yeah. you can have a great career. I know a lot of people; they kind of fall into that spectrum where they've had, um, they've had sales uh, experience or they've had managerial experience. They want to get into IT. Mm -hmm. This might be your perfect happy medium. This might because yeah. you get to you have to know about IT if you're gonna, if you're going to be in an IT department running PMP running projects. You have to know a little bit about IT. But then if you have that project management skill, that's amazing. And he's not making this up. He, he's seriously not making this up. Literally, yesterday. So what? So we're at Trainer Palooza. I normally make it up, is what he's implying. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, normally. Yeah, I mean, you've seen his YouTube channel. Right? Yeah. I mean, you're here. You know what um, I do. <laughs> but but we're, so we're at Trainer Palooza right now, which is the once once a year event where CBC Nuggets flies all of their trainers together. That's by we're in a commune house. So there's there's other trainers that are are hiding right now in rooms because they're like, oh, I don't want to I don't want to be on the camera. But um, but. Um, uh, one of the things we do while we're up here is we actually call students. Um, they, they reserve blocks of time during the day where we just take the, the most enthusiastic or sometimes students that have just missed an exam and they're just, they could so, so a lot of our day is just being on the phone with students. And I was talking to a guy yesterday. Um, I don't remember his name and I wouldn't share it even if I did, but he was a teacher. He, he, and actually he's still at a high school teaching. Um, and, and he got his CCNA. And one of the things that, that, the, that he really realized is that gap between the technician, the engineer, and actually rolling out a successful project. Mm. And, and his school recognized that he had that interest. And now he's going for a PMP certification. And he, wow. said, he said, I love it because I'm planning the project. <laughs> and, and he's kind of like, and I kind of like, ooh, that's cool. I'm gonna flip my hat backwards, and I'm gonna be the technician for that. So he'll assign himself yeah. to the task that he's really that he really loves. But he recognizes the whole plan of that, 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 that all has to happen. And then I'm gonna go in and configure this router and install it. I'm gonna test it, and it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a night. But then they're gonna do this, and they're gonna do this, and we're gonna send this. And, and so he's loving the blend. But but I'll also say, Chuck, it's not for everybody. I, I have seen people that, that um, get into project management and they're like, this isn't my thing. You know? That would be me. Mm. I, I've looked at the objectives for PMP and I'm like, no, no, <laughs> no, that, that's not me. Yeah. I, I, I can barely manage myself, yeah. much less a project. Yeah. So yeah. I'm not doing that. Yeah, it, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it, and that's, that's, that's the, the fun thing. The fun thing about it is you'll know pretty quick. Um, and it's also, in, in, a, in a way, it's, it's a, it's a, a life phase. Um, you know, He's I, I got, through a phase. I, you know, no, <laughs> so I'm at midlife right now, kind of crisis going on. Mid. Um, it, it, <laughs> whoa. Hey, um, no. so, so, so I look at Chuck as, as, uh, the young version of me. Um, I like, 
like this guy is this guy's me decades ago. Um, and uh, and when I, when I was in the world of Chuck, if somebody said project, I'd be like, whatever, not, not my thing. No, like I'm, no. yeah, I, and, That's and I would do. It. But but then I became wiser. Oh, uh, here we go. Here but, we go. Uh, yeah, no, Listen I, up, you whippersnappers. I, well, it, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, enough, <laughs> enough said. You get, but, but what I'm saying is I reached a point in life where I'm like, I need structure. I need order. And that's project management. In a way, everybody's a, a project manager. Everybody, you know, everybody you, you wake up in the morning and you manage, you know, breakfast. You, you figured out how to eat. You know, there's in, in, in such a way, project management is, is life skills, which, which you learn to appreciate as... <laughs> I mean, he's in all seriousness, this is a skill I wish I had. Like I've, I've been in so many IT departments where we, we did not have a full-time project manager. And I imagine that's a full, that's a, that's a real thing for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So I had to manage my own implementations, whole network refreshes. And I'm just like, I don't know how to manage that. So I'm going, going, it's from, you know, having POs, ordering stuff, making sure it all arrives on time, assigning mm -hmm. tasks. I, it barely got done. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've been at companies where they actually have one and I'm like, Wow, this is kind of nice. So you yeah. mean I just do what you told me to do, and everything else is is covered? Yeah. Oh, oh, this is something I can get on board with. Yeah. Um, so now I, I want to dive into first of all, um, how do you get uh, PMP certified, and uh, what does the job actually kind of look like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's where it gets. And, and what and what is that certification? So so yeah, this this is where it gets tricky, and this is why you know I throw this out there is like start now and start being intentional about it. So. PMP is not the kind of certification where you just go pass an exam. Um, there is an exam, it's hard, um, but it, with enough study you could pass it and then they'll say, um, by the way, where did you get your thousands of hours of experience? Ooh. Thousands of hours. Is that, is that a requirement? It's a requirement. It's a requirement. You literally have to submit to them, I work this many hours on this and this many hours. So, and it, of course they realize that you know, you may not have lived life knowing you're going to get a PMP. So some of it's, you know, you, you get a manager to sign off on things and, and things like that. But, mm. but literally, it's a soft skill. You, you can tell somebody, here's the mechanics for running a meeting. But until they walk in and run a meeting, uh, you, don't, you don't get it. Yeah, I mean, it, like it, you, can, you can say, well, here's the five elements that every meeting should have. But until you get up in front of a group and actually try and use those five elements. And, and you know, the funny thing is... Um, you have to be a little bold. If you're, if you're going to get into PMP, um, you'll learn stuff. And you, the, the next step is to jump off the cliff and try it. You know, it, mm. And I will tell you, you will fail miserably. Um, I, <laughs> so stay, stay encouraged, people. <laughs> yeah, I know. So go at it. Um, but it's some of the best failures that, that you will have. And I, I, one small example, um, some of you know I run a company called VIA. Um, and there's, you know, uh, I'll be taking all the time project management stuff into to different things. And, and we had this idea of a kickoff meeting, right? And I'm like, okay, I got the structure. And so I'd bring it in and I ran a kickoff meeting and it was terrible. Like at the end of it, people were screaming at each other, screaming <laughs> like, like, it, it, like this is, and, and I finally said, guys, stop, stop now. This meeting is done. This is the worst meeting I've ever had in my life. Serious. And, and then I said, and that's my fault. My bad. I was trying something new. Tomorrow, we're going to have the same meeting, and it's going to be different. And then I'd come back, and I'd record a little video. Okay, so you don't want to do this. You don't want to do that. You don't. So, so... So, so, so shameless plug for his course. Right, I mean, right, right. He, he's, t he's implementing these things he's teaching because sure. he runs a company yep. and it's real life. So he's already completed a few of what we call skills on CBT nuggets. If you want to go check that out, there will be a link below. You can just kind of, you know, Hey, you know, what's cool about CBT nuggets, seven day free trial. You don't pay anything. You can just kind of check it out a little bit. So that's enough time to get through a few of his skills. You don't have to pay a thing. It's only $59 a month, by the way, but Hey, seven days, you can do that. Yeah. 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 So project management, long, long story short, it's good. It's, it's going to be really good um, by the time this is said and done. And I'm going to say, learn from my mistakes. Uh, learn, <laughs> learn, learn. Uh, it, so I, it's, yeah. So I'm just going to start circling. You know, I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm going to check it out. I'm not going to watch the whole thing, I'll be honest with you, because I don't care about project management yet. That's fine. I, I, you apparently, will. Don't apparently worry. You I'm, will. Not, I'm not wise enough you yet. Will. I haven't advanced in years. You will. I haven't lost enough hair yet. Um, <laughs> Wow. <laughs> There's a ball guy over here too. There, there it is. There it is. You, you hear that? that is wow. All right. Well, guys, um, 
we got to go to a meeting. So we got to go on well, another a meeting. Let's, let's try out those skills. Mm-hmm. Um, but Jeremy, thanks so much. Mm-hmm. I, I wanted to have people like learn about this PMP thing. It's a, it's a high in demand skill. Um, I've had a bunch of people ask me about it. I've had people who want to get into that and it's kind of like, how, how do I do it? What are the steps? And yeah. now we finally have a gold standard trainer mm-hmm. going through it and, and giving you everything you need. So project check it out. Project management for it. That's going to be what this, <sighs> this, this is going to be good. It's that's be really that's good. exciting. So mm-hmm. if you haven't already, um, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, like the video if you like what we're talking about and follow Jeremy. Jeremy's starting to get social. He's mm-hmm. going to talk to you a little bit. Uh, Instagram, Facebook, possibly YouTube. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up if you want him to be on YouTube. Thumbs up for anything, really. I'll interpret it uh, <laughs> however you want me to. And that's about it, guys. We'll catch you guys later.